Mm. Well, basically, this is sort of a packing that keeps the ladder off the wall of the chimney, so there's room for your boots to go through, you know, on the rungs of the ladder. There's two schools of thought in this. One that, the, you know, tying them on with string is time consuming and all that, which it is. But the thing is, when it's, when it's being pulled up the side of the chimney, um, you know, by my mate here, it, it, and it bangs against something, it only busts the string, you know. Like the other school of thought is have a metal construction that's bolted, bolted to the ladder, which when that hits an iron band or something like that, it busts the bloody ladder, you see. String is cheaper than brand new ladders. So, but it does take a bit of time for tie them all on. <laughs> That's the only problem. Hey. Right. Hey. It's going to be just underneath the third rung, so there's room for your boots. <laughs> They've just got to be just underneath the third rung, so there's room for your boots there. If you tie it on there, it's amazing how it gets in way. Um, you know, it's in the wrong shop because there's no room for your for your feet. Yeah, basically that piece of wood is, is just to put there to hold the ladder off the wall. Here we are drilling the first hole in, in you know, which is, is the, there is an hole actually there that's just been pointed up. So knocking the first dog, which will be the, the hole fast at the, at the base of the first ladder, as you might say. Then goes the plug wood, which, as you can see, it doesn't go in very far, you know, but it's quite far enough, you know, it's quite safe. Um, and that's what's termed as a dog. Then uh, I'm going to knock in, in now, uh, knock in, in now. And the next stage is to the piece of rope, it's called a lashing, and it's a piece of rope about five foot long with a loop spliced on one end, as you can see. Um, the next stage is to prop up a ladder and climb up it as though you were going up to clean the bedroom window. And then about five feet from the top of that ladder, you drill another hole, but in our case the hole's already there. You drill another hole as plumb and straight above the one below as you can get it. Um, and insert another piece of plug wood and another dog. As you get a bit higher up, the holes have a tendency to get a bit deeper. I think it's called fear. <laughs> Here you see the first ladder is, is in position and I'm about to tie it onto the bottom dog or the bottom hole fast, um, which, uh, you know, that's where the beer belly comes in handy. Um, it's sort of round the hook, round the side of the cheek of the ladder, under the rung, round the hook, round the other cheek of the ladder, round the rung and then back round the, the, the rung below and a 12 inch on and that's got it fast, it will not come off. And the thing to do also is use as much of the rope up as you can because in a gale the ends start to blow about and, and the whipping comes off the end of the rope and then you've got one with like a cat of nine tails end on it, you know, blowing about in the wind. That is the pulley wheel to pull up the next ladder. Here the next operation is to tie the the ladder to the top dog or the top hole fast that you've just knocked in without tying it to the haulage rope, you know, because you sometimes if you're not paying attention or you're trying to talk to somebody who's mithering you on the floor, they you end up lapping it round. You see how easy it would be to lap it round the haulage rope. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's it. That is no, the bottom ladder is no firmly fixed and as good as it'll ever be to the wall of the chimney. And the next operation is to climb up to the top of that ladder and sit to stride the top iron rung and reach up as far as you can and drill another hole in the brickwork, which, of course, it's very easy for me here because having done this thing about seven times before and used exactly the same holes every time, I know exactly how far I'm reaching and where I'm going, and it's quite an easy operation to keep the wall stack of ladders in a, in a, in a very straight line. If you're putting them up and you wander towards one side, when you're putting the staging up at the top and you've got one ladder that's maybe two foot gone a bit sideways and say the other one's gone the other way, it looks rather an erratic effort at the top. You know, everything's out of line and out of square. Now we've drilled the, the hole approximately five feet above the top of the bottom ladder and hooked on the pulley wheel. Now this is where the tricky bit comes in. The second ladder is tied on approximately nine rungs from the top which is about midway. And of course, when, it, when it's been pulled up by the labourer or the man down below, we, we lose more or less half a ladder uh, of a lap, which you'll see the reason for this shortly. The thing is, as that ladder comes up, or the second ladder comes up, on the bottom rung of it, there are two lashings, one of which I'm using now to tie the bottom rung to the nearest corresponding rung of the ladder that's stuck to the wall. I've got the other lashing round my neck and the two steeplejack hooks which have come up with it are stuck in my belt. Um, now, uh, that's a secondary sort of safety precaution, the one with just a clovitch round the side. Just in case the, 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 that hook there that I've got my hand on or the one that the pulley's on, if that happened to come out, I'd still be in with a chance, you know, the... the the ladder would still be connected with two hooks to the bottom one. As you can see, it's slightly precarious there, how it shakes about, but once you've lashed it to that top hook, which is five foot above the bottom ladder, you've only got about six rungs above that are standing in free space, or what you might call unconnected to the chimney. It is now possible to unhook the pulley wheel and carry it up the back side of the ladder and hook it on the top iron rung while you use one of the dogs that's stuck in your belt uh, to, you know, get another purchase five foot higher up still, you see. And once you've drilled that hole and put the dog in, you can lift up the pulley wheel onto the dog, which, of course, one end of the rope is still attached to the ladder that you, you were sat on. And then you'll see in a minute where they, when I come down and untie that ladder, my man at the bottom pulls and up goes the wall 21 pins of the ladder onto the top of the bottom ladder, which sounds unbelievably complicated, but it is quite a simple operation, really. In fact, it's so simple you can do on a good chimney on a good day where it isn't windy and you don't manage to thump the hell out your hand with the hammer. Like, you know, I mean, if you miss with the hammer, it's rather painful. Um, there goes the pulley wheel, down the ladder, um, untie the lashing at the top that's holding the top of the ladder, now it all comes loose and flops about in the wind, that's the dodgy bit when it's very windy and you're three quarters of the way up and the wind's trying to snap the ladder off sideways, uh, it's quite exciting. Um, and there's the secondary lashing on the side, and then finally the one at the bottom. Uh, when you've released it at the bottom, it's at the mercy of the man on the floor and the wind. Sometimes it's rather awkward when it's very windy and, and, the, and the ladders start twisting round the rope, you know, that's pulling the thing up. 